Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and make an update video because I've been asked to make a lot of characters that I've either already made or am working on at the moment. I have over a hundred warrior customs. It's too much and I've got a lot more to go. So at the moment I'm working on characters from Into the Wild for purposes that I will explain later unless you guys would rather me act out another book in the series um, I would stand them all up as I say their names but I'm kind of scared if one of them falls they're all gonna fall like dominoes so I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a close-up and I, I hope the lighting is okay the red tail and half tail video that I just did, the lighting was terrible, I know. It's really dark and you can't really see them. Hopefully you'll be able to see them better here. I, I'm working on that because there is a light on my camera. that On my phone there's a light that I can use on my camera. The problem with that light is that there's too much of a glare and it just shows way way too much on the figures like it, it it messes up the color and it's not how they look in real life and it just makes them look terrible so I'm trying to work out some of the kinks on the lighting and trying to give you guys a better view of my customs because I feel like with the camera light it shows too much glare and makes the coloring look off, but without the light, you can't really see them at all. So I'll be working on that in the future. So back here, we're gonna start with... I'm so sorry, I blinked. Okay, Dappletail. I am so sorry, I blinked there. Okay. Then we got Moonflower. And then we have Small Ear. Now, Small Ear, I might be replacing with a different cat. Because um, he was originally a dog, and I, I think I can do better with that. And then we have Barley. Very happy with how he turned out. We have One Whisker. We have Thornclaw. Ravenpaw. Or, yes, Ravenpaw. He never got his warrior name. And then we have Redtail. This is the new and improved Redtail. As you can see, he really does have a red tail. And I actually got that look by using permanent marker. So that's the new and improved red tail. And then this here is the old red tail. So as you can see, pretty major improvement. And then we have half tail and maybe I can give you guys a better idea of how he looks phones not wanting to zoom in here anyway sorry about this guys but his tail looks really well done And no, your mind isn't playing tricks on you. I actually didn't paint this one because I think I'm going to use this cat as either Ravenwing or Darkstar from Maple Shades Vengeance. I'm just not sure yet, but I think this cat's fine the way it is. Then we have Brightheart. We have Squirrel Flight. We have Leopard Fur or Leopard Star. Bracken Fur. Frost Fur. Spotted Leaf. Snow fur, apple dusk, goose feather, then we have broken star, maple shade, tiger star, crow feather, quince from rise of scourge, misty star, hawk frost, hazel tail, golden flower, rock, stone fur, ash fur, from Thunder Clan, the one who was obsessed with Squirrel Flight, Flame Tail, 
running wind, one eye, cloud tail, speckle tail, alder heart, patch pelt, black star, ivy pool, fern cloud, leopard foot, dark stripe, jay feather, rose tail, holly leaf, leaf pool, brindle face, Night cloud, thistle claw, cinder pelt, mouse fur, and another jay feather. And then down here we got this is supposed to be moss kit, just a little bit bigger than the little ones. So we got moss kit from Blue Star's Prophecy. And then we have Raven Paw. And then these three are Maple Shades kits. We have Petal Kit, Patch Kit, Large Kit, and then right here we have Little Snow Kit, and then we have Scourge, or at this point he was known as Tiny, and then we have Thistle Paul, we have Tiny again, we have Socks, Ruby, and Spotted Paul. Now over on this table, we have warriors that are either being made, need touch-ups, or they're being replaced. So let's get started from down here. We have Pine Paw, Tiger Paw or Tiger Kit, Bramble Paw, White Paw, Cinder Paw, she's being replaced. We have J Paw, another Bramble Paw. We have Stone Paw. And we also have Misty Paw. Over here we have Moth Wing. She needs some updates. We have Crooked Star. Crooked Star, again, I'm very proud of because I worked really hard on him. But not only does he need touch-ups, he might, might be getting replaced. I'm just not sure. I think I found a better model for him, but... I plan on keeping him because I'm very proud of how he turned out. Here we have a cat that it was just a random OC I was working on, but I think I'm going to go ahead and repaint him into one of the characters. We have the old Squirrel Flight, who looks like a Pokemon, according to one of my commenters, and they were right, she does. And then we have the old Red Tail, and then we have that white cat that everybody keeps trying to help me figure out what they're going to be, and I still haven't figured it out yet. We have Tall Tail, and I made his tail look like that because in the book he was teased and called Worm Cat, so I made his tail look like a worm, but he might be redone. I'm not 100% yet. And this one's Feather Tail. Now, Feather Tail her color might be redone because I used a silver metallic color to make her pelt look more silvery, but I'm not really too happy with the way it turned out. So I think I'm going to go back with a gray paint. And then we have Blue Star and unfortunately Blue Star is going to have to be replaced because I've used way too many coats of paint on this cat. And it's just starting to show. Now I could try to just chip away the paint and just try to redo her because I'd I'm not gonna get I don't get rid of any of my models even if I replace them I don't get rid of them because I can always use them and then we have dove wing she needs a couple of touch-ups this is an old misty star and I used a really bad sealer on her and unfortunately it made her crack I was able to chip the paint away and redo her, but she still didn't quite come out the way I wanted her to. And then we have Silver Stream, and she's the same as Feather Paw. I mean Feather Tail. I think I'm gonna change her paint. I'm happy with everything else. I'm just not 100% on the paint. Then we have Breeze Pelt. Now Breeze Pelt again. I used the wrong sealer on him, and he has cracked. So. I'm either going to chip off the paint and redo them, or I'm going to use a different model. White Storm needs touch-ups. Bramble Star got knocked out by Thorn. 
thorn claw and got a little scratch on his nose that I'm going to have to fix. And then this is Ashfur, the Elder from Shadow Clan in Into the Wild. We have Willow Pelt, Bright Flower. That's my long tail. And as you can see, I'm giving him hair and I'm trying to update him. That's going to be Claw Face, Gray Stripe, an old lion blaze that I'm redoing. That's going to be Blossom Fall, the brown and white cat. That cat that appears green is supposed to be Thrush Pelt. Um, somehow the colors that I picked out made him turn green when I put the sealer on, so I think I'm going to go with a more grayish color for him so that that won't happen. Then we have Millie. Then we have Cinder Heart. We have Rainflower. We have Feather Whisker. Running Nose. Another Lion Blaze I'm working on. Lion Heart, who's going to get a complete redo. Pine Star. Sorrel Tail. Fire Star. Oak Star. And Sandstorm. So, let me see if I can get them all in here. I might not be able to. There's too many of them. Those are all of my warrior customs. So, I just want you guys to know I am hard at work. And hopefully I can get them done before summer's up. So, I was thinking of doing the... Into the Wild series with these kit figures. But if you guys would prefer something different than Into the Wild, because I know Into the Wild's been done to death, so if you would prefer something else, if you would prefer the second book or the third book or even one of the novellas like Yellow Fang's Secret or Tall Star's Revenge or something to that effect, just let me know, guys. Thank you guys so much for almost, almost 180 subscribers. I, you guys are unbelievable. Thank you so much for all the support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.